Hello and welcome back to another installment of The Mix. I'm Morgan and today we're going to be making one of the most summeriest of live agents that you can think of because as the heat starts to set in, the humidity makes my hair a little bit bigger every day, we need something refreshing to end our days with. And what's better than a lavender lemonade? This is a very easy process. You're just going to need a couple of ingredients. You are need to have a couple of lemons, I'd say about six or seven. You're going to need some honey, your choice. This is orange blossom honey, but you can use whatever you have. You're going to need some water. You're also going to need obviously some lavender. I have dried lavender flowers here. You can also use flesh lavender if you're lucky enough to be a green thumb. Unlike myself who has had two lavender plants and killed them both, you can use your fresh lavender. Or if you don't have any of these or can't find these, Whole Foods usually has dried lavender and so does your local grocery store sometimes. But Whole Foods is always a good option. Amazon as well. This is where I got some lavender bitters. You can use lavender bitters as well. This will be a little bit of a different process if you choose these and I'll show you that as we go. But let's get started. Let's show you how to do this. The first thing you're going to need to do is make a honey simple syrup. Very easy. You're just going to take your honey and you're going to do two cups of honey to one cup of water. This makes it a little bit more syrupy. You can do equal parts one and one if you wanted to too, if you wanted a little more of a liquidy consistency, but you'll just do that. You put the water on medium heat, add the honey, let the honey dissolve, and then you're going to add one cup of lavender, either your fresh lavender or your lavender flowers, and you're gonna let that steep for 30 minutes. If you're using lavender bitters, then you can just add this later. Just make the simple syrup first, and then add this in as you're making the lemonade. So once you have that, and while that's going, you need to squeeze some lemons. So we have our lemons here. If you have, I highly recommend using some sort of citrus juicer, so you will end up with about a cup or so of lemon juice. And you can go a little bit less with this, a little bit more. This is all really catered to your taste. This is completely customizable. So let's get started. I have a pitcher here where we're going to add all of our ingredients. I'm going to add my lemon juice into our pitcher, like so. I'm also going to take my already made lavender honey simple syrup, and I'm going to pour some of this into this mixture. This is basically like making any lemonade. It's just you're adding a lavender um, essence to it rather than just straight up sugar. Then we are going to take some water to dilute this down. This is completely up to you. I'm going to eyeball it here. So we're going to add our water. Mix it up and then I'm just going to pour it out, give it a little bit of a taste, see where I'm at, see if I need to add a little bit more water, if I need to add a little bit more of the simple syrup or if I need to add a little bit more lemon. We're in a good place, but I think I need to add a little bit more of the simple syrup. Added more of the simple syrup. I'm going to try this and see where we're at. And we have lavender lemonade there. Again, this is all about your ratios. I like a little more tartness to my lemonade, so I go a little heavy on the lemon juice. But if you want something a little lighter, add a little bit more water add a little bit more sugar. Now, if you were using lavender bitters, this is where you would also add those lavender bitters. You would just take them, add them into your lemonade mixture as such, and just nothing too crazy. And then you would let that mix up and then you kind of see where you were at. I've obviously added a lavender simple syrup to this, but I love a good lavender moment. So I just added a little bit more and that's delicious. So when it comes to tools, you just need a glass. I'd recommend a tall glass. You're gonna need some ice, of course. So, get some ice, fill a tall glass. Then you're just gonna measure out two ounces of the vodka, two ounces. And I'm just gonna pour this right into the glass. We're just building the glass like I mentioned. And then I'm just gonna fill it to the top with our lavender lemonade. Bada boom. And as for garnish, you can throw some fresh lavender sprigs in there if you're lucky enough to have them. You can just use some lemon slices. I'm gonna get a little bit fancy here. I'm going to take my lemon slice and I'm just going to dip it ever so elegantly into our lavender, dried lavender. So now I have a pretty 
lavender lemonade. You can use this without alcohol. I've obviously added two ounces of kettle, but you can just save this and this gets better with age, just like I do, baby. I highly recommend letting it sit, being super refreshing, and of course we have to taste it. And that's delicious and refreshing and pretty too. Very Instagrammable. So I hope you enjoyed making lavender lemonade with me. I hope you enjoy it on a nice summer's eve with some friends. And until next time, cheers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's so good. That's my favorite.